remain a week. Okay. To wrap. Okay. So, so okay. this one is remaining like one week to ripe food. Yeah, yeah. So the process of that chocolate you love so much. I, I love that chocolate. That chocolate you love so much. Start from the farm where we are here. So when you are going to the farm, eh, you need to prepare <laughs> and wear farm boots, gum boots. Yeah? And this is what I want to do. I need to wear gum boots. Maybe I sit down somewhere. So that I can wear very well. Down there, gamboots. Hey, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very the struggle is real. Yeah? So this this one has to go down. I wear farm shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I wear farm shoes. Hey. You know, he's there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We are done. <laughs> Before we move on, the boots are there. You cannot go to the farm without this. You might meet anything and you do pa 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 pa. You cut it. <laughs> now you see me. Before we go and thank you, you are most welcome to my channel. If you are new here, can they subscribe to my channel, like the video, and you leave a sweet comment down below. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for always coming back and watching my videos. Today, I want to talk about cocoa. If you love, uh, if you love uh, chocolate, or you love taking Milo and and drinking chocolate, something, uh, drinking chocolate, that kind of drinks, you need to know where cocoa comes from, and that's the reason why I'm doing today's video let me put my shoes there because this one cannot go there so that's the reason why i want to do this video even me myself i've never seen cocoa live live i've never seen cocoa trees it's my first time to see cocoa trees so i've been directed to this one it's called chief asoli in the farm this is where i'm going so that i can go the owner is already in the farm and see cocoa hey i've never seen cocoa hey if you see me taking milo and bonfita and little chocolate i don't know where the chocolate comes from yes i know it's from coke let's let's go to the farm i've been told to wear this where do i pass now yeah the struggle is real you see what you got to make out there because <laughs> yeah, i even want to see these cocoa trees and learn a few things about cocoa this is the farm oh. this is the entire mentally farm you can see gamboots and here i have to to do jump and i hope i'll not fall down uh-huh oh uh -huh. and i carry the name what do you call it panga as we call it back home hey these are the cocoa trees and the owner of the farm is right here we call him chief and uh, this is his farm me i've never seen cocoa this is how they look like big big like this they are green they are not ready so this is how they look like so i have to continue balance so that i can see the cocoa there are so many places where in nigeria where you can see cocoa because uh, they deal with cocoa nigeria is also a producer of cocoa if you are not aware maybe you think it's only palm oil they produce a lot of cocoa and they export it so i want to know ah what is happening with cocoa he also has some that he has planted this is his farm this is how it is going they are green they are not yet ready i can see they are green and these are cocoa trees sir let me introduce the the owner of the farm so that i can ask him a few questions sir you are welcome to my channel yeah yes. how many years this tree did you plant these trees make it this four years now four years yes. to reach this height yes. produce like this. and they have already they already have cocoa yes. after four years huh. you could receive uh, seed. Okay. Seven. Okay. They will mature. Okay. This one takes four years to mature. Yeah. They they are a Greek. A Greek. So there are others which take longer. Uh, yes. After three years, after three and a half years to four years, uh -huh. they produce. Okay. Yes. So they are normally very ripe uh, after four years. Yes. Yes. Wow. This is a this is encouraging. I'm learning something. Four years, you have your cocoa, and this is how the farm looks like. We started just four years ago, as you can see. They are here. 
is almost enough to be ready so that you can harvest as you see see them it's amazing when i say i love nigeria you see the things i have nigeria is is, is, is i have to be careful nigeria is a one of the beautiful countries in africa that i've come I've, I've traveled to i've gone to other countries in africa yes but nigeria has made me see things i've never seen i've never seen cocoa i'm seeing it in nigeria this is also another cash crop yeah this is another cash crop in nigeria it has so many things that they export and these are things that many people don't know about nigeria some people think that nigeria don't have cocoa nigeria has cocoa and a lot of it and they use it for for export see a tree like this one full is full you can see from here the way it's beautiful it has grown so beautiful so this is cocoa and this one is not ready it's still green it will still go to the stage where it will be ripe so from here sir for them to be ripe how how long are they going to take from here to right now okay I see everything be like this. Yes, so yes. Then a month now to wrap. Everything go wrap. Hey. So from there go they plug it. Okay. So by the, by we are going to October. By no, o yes. November, you'll be harvesting. Yes, harvest some go see they come out. Okay. Yes. So it is still continuous as you harvest, others come out. Yes, as we get plug it, uh -huh. another one go see they come out. From the same tree. From the same tree. Hey. three times or four times before year go end so you can harvest cocoa about yes. three times a year yes three times four times a year hey, four even times four times a year that is very nice because imagine harvesting something like this these trees are for life you harvest them for life yes. you can leave uh, this farm to your children they continue to enjoy yes. uh, the farm some of them he has just planted some they are good which one is still this one is cocoa yeah mm. Co coconut okay Fine coconut. so you mix it together yes okay wow that is very nice i can see also growing palm uh, what do we call it plantain they are also growing plantain there's a lot of water this this place has a lot of water does cocoa need a lot of water Cocoa. Oh, it uh, can grow in a dry place. Yes. It can grow in a dry place. Uh, yes, I mean cocoa. Uh, yeah, it, it, it needs a lot of water. It, it needs water. Okay. Up, up, um, up plant the same thing, see, like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, you can mix with any plant. Yes. And what is this, sir? This palm tree. Oh, this, this is palm tree. Yes. Okay, okay. these are nursery for palm tree. Yes. So you want to, want to be planting palm yes. trees they do very well in nigeria if you didn't see that video where i showed you how they process palm trees in so nigeria kindly go and watch so now we take it and carry it go transplant okay for another place so okay from there uh -huh. with a germinate uh, okay quick quick okay very fast before four years now everything go to mature it go to wow many, many things there. these are these are things that i'm learning about nigeria this is a palm tree behind there Palm tree. Yes, this palm tree. This one is all ready. This one, that, now. that one you have already harvested. Yes. Yes. Wow. There's a lot you, you can do in Nigeria. And as you can see, yes. I was telling you, if you do know there is cocoa in Nigeria, there is cocoa. This is just a few places, a small place where at least I wanted to show you where is cocoa. You have ne never seen cocoa. You love chocolates and you have never seen how cocoa trees grow and how they do it this is a small space yes i know there are other bigger farms in nigeria very big farms where they plant cocoa but i just wanted you to see more about cocoa farm and cocoa tree and i'm also learning because i've never seen this is my first time to see the cocoa trees so i'm very very excited to see this and i'm glad that i came at least i've learned something a thing or two and i've learned this one for a bit they don't take long is up to four years you have it so what about uh, the other ones which are original pa cocoa they take how long okay original cocoa let me knock at this one okay. yeah original cocoa like the other cocoa okay. they like take this. long yeah this cocoa this okay. cocoa you say is so, um uh, what we call it organic ah. Organ hey, a greek these are greek yes. but is there another type of cocoa apart from a greek uh it's still the we eh. call it caretaker 
Eh, uh, it's called Kiyatika. Yes. Kiyatika. Yes. Well, yes. It will take long. Yes. Okay. It's the second farm here. Okay. Right. It's called because it takes long. It takes long. Okay. Long. This one, I agree. Yeah. So four years now. This you one have it. I'm not sure. You have it. That one, if you use five years, six years upward. Okay. The Kiyatika, the, the, yes. <laughs> the other one, the Kiyatika, yes. will take up yes. to six years yes. before you have it. So I've, I've learned a few things about uh, about this cocoa. I'm learning. I'm learning. Come along with me as you learn more about cocoa. Now, once you love chocolates, you see where all your chocolate come from. Hmm? As I've told you, cocoa is doing well in Nigeria. Let me ask you about test money <laughs> because when I like talking about something. I like to ask about because you cannot work and you're not seeing money. Sir, is cocoa paying now? Are people are farmers getting money from cocoa now than before? No. Yeah. No. But this year and last year cocoa spend money too much. Eh? On Nigeria. Nobody get cocoa you get money. Eh? That is why everybody will plant cocoa. Okay, so before cocoa was not paying yes. very well yes. in Nigeria yes. and people they don't want to do anything with cocoa because you cannot plant a tree or plant something that you are not getting money. But since last year, people are getting good money yes. from cocoa. Yes. How much do you sell per kilo? Per this? kilo now is 15,000 naira. Hey, 15,000 naira <laughs> per kilo. Wow, that is nice. So. It's very nice, and like it's something small, you get 15,000. Imagine even a small space like this, you can still get money for it. Yes. You can still get some money for it. So, you wanted to show me another type of yes. cocoa? Yes. Where, which way is the, the tree? Or oh, you go to the other side? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning about cocoa. Let's enjoy these sweet trees together. If you do know that Nigeria has a lot of cocoa, because some, many people, for me, I used to think before, yeah, it's only Ghana in West Africa that has cocoa, Ghana. I do know more about Nigeria. It's when I'm here, when I came here, that I learned more about cocoa that, because I used to see where they are, they are drying it, and I'm like, ah, what is this? Ah, this one is big. It already has. This is a Greek. Very big. Ah, it's big, oh. This one is very big. Before, you see? Two, before two or three bunch of um, bunch of um, cane. Uh -huh. Every you know, jerry can go full. Uh -huh. Very sweet. Very fine. Very, very fine. Very yellow. Wow. Red oil. Red oil, palm oil, palm oil, palm oil. Palm oil. Nigeria palm this oil one. is very, very good. Yeah, it's very it's nice. Very Tasty. Yeah. Very, very rich. It's very rich. I've tasted it. I've it's very very nice. Okay, sir. Hey, I'm learning. This is another cocoa here. This is another cocoa. It's growing. Very oh, sweet. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I love it. Sweet. This is very nice. So this is how cocoa and these ones are coming out. These ones yeah. are coming out. So within four years, if I normally say this, if you have watched my channel, I've talked about farming, uh, about how you can do farming, whether you are from this country or maybe wherever you are watching me from. Farming is good because at least you always get a, more than a hundred percent from what you are doing. And sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. Sorry for that. But imagine after four years, you get good money, and for life, yes. you continue to get good money from what you are doing. Money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very, very nice. There is another space, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Let's see. I have to wear gumboots because that place has a lot of water. Can see this place has water. You have a big space now. Very big space. Oh, oh okay. Ah, you also have rabbits. Wow. They are also rabbits. Africans, we try. Oh, we are really trying. We are really trying. Rabbits have very sweet and very nice meat. Nice meat. Yeah, that's Africa. Well, I was talking about, about farming. 
at least i know farming is not for everybody not everyone who likes farming but if you like farming if you are someone like me who likes farming because me i love farming i've already seen the benefits of farming even here in nigeria and i've not seen it long if you love farming you enjoy it because at least and i say every time someone is consuming something like you know i'm finishing here to go and shop so people will always eat and since they always eat if whatever you are producing you go sell them you not go at a loss at all at all this is a rabbit if you feel like eating rabbit <laughs> you go there and eat it you not go to buy so i've learned things about cocoa that i didn't know and leave your comment down below if you love chocolates leave your comment if you didn't know that cocoa nigeria produces a lot of cocoa leave your uh, comment nigeria is a very rich country very rich this country eh? mm. for me i see people don't know nigeria the way you know nigeria is when you come to nigeria that is when you experience the sweetness of nigeria remain a week okay to wrap okay so uh, this one is remaining like one week to ripe food yeah, yeah. so the process of that chocolate you love so much i i love that chocolate that chocolate you love so much start from the farm where we are here from the farm this is where they grow cocoa they are in this uh, color when they are not ripe this is remaining a few weeks to ripe because they are not ripe. I could have shown you. See, he's telling me that you could have seen when it is ripe. It's remaining a few weeks to ripe. So from here, after they remove from the farm when they are ripe, you go and put it somewhere with leaves, like banana leaves. You put them somewhere so that they can stay there for four, four days. Yes. After four days, you put them in the sun yes. to dry. Fine. And I'll go show you that place where they put them in the sun to dry. From there is when they are exported, exported to other different countries. So when you are eating your chocolate in Europe, it maybe came from this farm or, or came from another farm in, in, Niger, in another African country or any part of Africa. Because Africa, they have cocoa. Let's see the inside. I've never seen the inside of cocoa. So, cut Niger. Okay. Niger. This, yeah. this, coconut. this is the cocoa yeah. now the inside yeah because you remove this the skin yes, yes. okay you remove the skin yes. so the seeds the seed. okay so the seed we will cover it to one place you will take leaf cover it okay four days okay before you will go put it inside sun okay so everything go go dry okay Mm. It is rough now. Yeah, if it's right. Mm. Mm. Ah, you know what is sweet too? Very sweet. Very sweet. You I don't know. Imagine if it's right. Very sweet. It's tasting sweet too. It, it tastes like um it's African cocoa. Uh, vanilla. Vanilla. We ah, if it's sweet, I could have chopped it very well. It's remaining small. It's remaining small. But believe you me, even at this stage when it is remaining to ripe, it's very sweet. Very the sugar, they, they, that natural sugar. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Me, yeah, I didn't know that you can eat uh, cocoa. That is not, I thought it's only in chocolate form. I didn't know in the farm you can go and start eating cocoa. Now I see it's very, very sweet. Very For very sure, it's remaining small. Very small. It's remaining small. I can see that. Wow, let's go out so that you can see more about cocoa. Today we are learning about cocoa. That chocolate, that milo, that bone vita. There are so many things about farming. Wow, I found something me I didn't know. I didn't know at all. You see, when you go to different countries, you learn many things. If I never came here, how would I know more about cocoa? Yes, sir. Not in cocoa. No. It's where I plant and fish. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. Now, after coming from the farm, I've come to this place. At least I show you so that you can get an idea of how cocoa goes. That when you come from the farm, it's dried. It takes a process. So from the farm, when it is ripe, it comes like this. This is how cocoa looks like. You see, it's still together. This is fresh one. They have just brought. It's just a few. They have collected a lot and they have packed inside. So it's just a few. They have let me at least so that you can see. This is how it comes fresh from the farm. As you can see, it's very fresh. Very, very fresh. From there, this is the first day. 
this is the second day as you can see it's still dry and it's also something that i've noticed you see it's changing color the color continue change it continue change from the first day to the second day and it loves at least sun you need to do it when the sun is very good not on a rainy day of course so that it can dry very well the sun is very good and today as you can see they have brought it up because the sun is so in fact they have brought inside so many bags that are inside these are the few that they have let me so that you can understand more about cocoa so this is the second day the third day as you can see it's continued dry so it needs a lot of sun as i've said the continue dry this is the third day the color is changing the third day this is the third day and now this is the final day the the cocoa is dry very well you can hear the sound you can hear it's dry very very well this is how it be this is how it be it's dry very well you see it's dry very well this is how it be this is the final stage that is how it be the final stage so it's like a process as you can see you come from the farm from the farm you remove it you come you take you bring it here the first day the second day now the final day is here it is ready for export because they don't process it here they take it for processing these are the ones which are normally left maybe in the farm the animals have eaten it so it's not that they take it for export but they still use this cocoa even if it's not taken for export they still use it that's why you can see it has different color they choose select the ones which are good they use it the ones which are not okay they go but the good ones they still use it so this is the one that is for, for export from there since it's ready for export this is the type of sack that they normally use for export big like this sack for export is like this so after it's full the sack is full they'll seal it so that they can take it for export so that is the process of cocoa from the farm to where at least you 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 come and dry it in the sun from drying it in the sun you pack it for export so when you are eating your chocolate this is the process or you are drinking there, your chocolate, uh, milo, bonfita, all these things that are made from cocoa is a process that is done. It's a labor of love. So this is how it looks. These are the seeds which are inside. Let me show you. This is how they look like. Now, these ones, there is no and more dry. They are very, very dry. These are the ones which are taken for effort. And you see, most of the countries in europe they, they don't grow their cocoa they get from africa when i tell you africa is rich we have a lot we have a lot of things that we export we have cocoa we have palm oil we have gold. we have so much in africa and that's why i say africa is now this is the time for africa to stand up and do their own things so that at least they can get more money imagine if you are processing all this cocoa doing our own chocolate instead of exporting we are doing everything then the final product we sell it to them you see how good it will be but this is the process of how you do with cocoa from the farm to where we are that is how they do it so that is exported to other countries in europe any part of country that is how they do this cocoa so if you love cocoa this is how it's done and leave your sweet comment down below I know if you love chocolate, have you enjoyed the process of how it is done? The process of cocoa from farm to this place, leave your sweet comment down below. If you grow cocoa in your country, leave your comment. As I've said, if you do know Nigeria produces a lot of cocoa and exports it, uh -huh, you see they produce and leave your sweet comment down below. So I'd like to end my video here. If you have enjoyed the video, kindly leave your sweet comment. I'd like to end my video here. If you as a, my, you have not subscribed to my channel we are new here and just subscribe like the video give it a like yes and leave a few comment about the video for today the process of cocoa from the farm is the final product of exporting cocoa we are in nigeria bye and see you on the next one